today with the weather. We're looking north over San Angelo right now. We're off to a pretty warm start. It kind of feels like thunderstorm weather to me out there. 77 degrees, high dew point, high pressure, high humidity, winds out of the south at 8 miles an hour. And we got a chance of some isolated thunderstorms rolling their way through this afternoon. Temperatures all morning long. See, we're jumping into the 80s around 9 o'clock, and then we're going to work our way up into those 90s around lunchtime, holding on to the 90s for a good bit of the day. Then we're going to follow our way back off down into those 60s eventually tonight. 96 degrees, it's going to be a hot one. Isolated thunderstorms trying to push their way through the area. 40% chance of that. Sunrise here in just about an hour. 96 today, then we got 69 tonight. Mostly clear skies, southwesterly winds 5 to 10, and then that sun's going to be setting at 837. This evening, severe weather outlook for today. We see that we've got a uh, enhanced risk for the eastern counties from San Angelo up to Coleman, down to Mason and Menard. Going to have a good chance of some enhanced severe weather tonight. Middle of the region, slight from Robert Lee all the way down to Sonora through Mert Zone. We could see that we're going to have a slight risk of that out west. Big Lake, Arizona, and Sterling City, a little bit less likely for them to get some severe weather today. Whole satellite now, not much happening out west. Another thunderstorm barreling its way across Kansas, but down into the Concho Valley. Nothing happening over the last three hours. So into the future cast model we go. We saw a few of those heavier clouds around 12 o'clock. Trying to kick off some showers further north up near Coleman around 1.30 this afternoon. And then around 4 o'clock we see another one build up and it's going to continue to push its way further east. Watch this one race its way out. A second one firing off down further south near Junction uh, near in the zona. It's going to fire off and run its way a little bit further east around 7.50 or so. And we see that we got it leaving the area by about 10.30 tonight. We'll have a little bit more on that as we're pushing into the day. It's still about 12, 24 hours, or excuse me, 12 hours out or so. 96 today, cold front bringing its way in. Uh, 100 degrees tomorrow, another good ch rain chance, 20% chance of rain. But Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, we've all got triple digits on all those days. And then we got another chance of rain next Tuesday with a front bringing its way in. Courtney, what's next?